Midjourney is a powerful AI tool that can help you take your business to that next level. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process how to use all the features of Midjourney V5 so you can get the most out of it. Hey guys, my name is RJ Martinez. This powerful AI tool can help you automate your business and take it to new heights. So let's get straight into the content. All right, so I'm in the back end of uh, Midjourney, okay? They just updated uh, Midjourney version 5, V5. And uh, one thing that I want you to do is very important when it comes to any of this and we're going to go ahead and, and compare you know v4 to v5 version 4 to version 5 um, but one thing to make sure that you're on the version 5 you have to hit the that little dash and you want to come over here to settings right so settings and when you hit settings hit enter and you're basically talking to the mid journey bot i'm in the direct message too right now with mid journey the mid journey bot um, and when i came over here it was on version 4 and i switched it over to mj version 5 okay so make sure that you're doing that so you have it on the latest version and the one of the ways that you know that is like when you type in a prompt right when you type in a prompt it will have a little dash at the end it'll say v5 so that that way you know that you're using the correct version okay so that's very important so that's the first step when it comes to uh using any of the prompts and you're trying to mess with version 5 you have to make sure that you're actually adjusted to that setting all right so this is the blog post that they released it was released on march 15th 2023 so exactly two days ago of me recording this video and it basically shows you you know how to select version 5 and all the information but one thing right here shows you like the different picture and the quality which is crazy right a vibrant california poppies and then it says obviously v5 um, but you can see the this is the newest model right and you can see the detail work and one thing I wanted to compare you can see compared to this you know the vibrant California poppies right here to this one and you can see like the, the picture quality right which is crazy okay so uh, one thing is just you can go back and switch to the older model like if you like the older model better it's maybe it's putting out you know different images that you may like or your, to your personal preference you can definitely do that right but for the most part looking at you know this image compared to like this image it's crazy okay which is really really awesome so for example let's go ahead and let's take this prompt and let's test it out and see come over here to discord and i want to go ahead and compare okay so this is we're going to go ahead and dash imagine that prompt and then we're going to go ahead and hit enter okay and it's going to start populating that image for us and then i'm going to go ahead and switch back to version 4 after this populates to see because you can switch back from version 4 version 3 version 2 version 1 and kind of see like the difference in the quality of the image and see if we can spot that out right that's one thing that i'm looking at I'm like okay like what can this like what's the difference like is it that much of a difference and i've been doing some research and seeing some stuff online people making different you know uh images with v5 and i'm just like wow that came from that couldn't even tell so like the detailed work with the image creator with mid journey it's like getting to that level where you're like this is really interesting this is dope this is cool because you can't really tell right okay so after i switched the settings over to version 5 um, i had to make it make a vibrant california poppies okay and this is the four that it came up with okay after everything was done i went ahead and upscaled each and every single one so we could see the detail work so this is the first one and you can see the quality right by looking at the quality like of the, the the detail work of this image it's pretty freaking awesome right pretty nice right and i think it's really crazy because you're just like you're looking at this you're like wow this is like some good stuff so check out the next one and you be the ju judge right because when it comes to this and it's not saying like you know like version 5 was bad but you know it's it's saying basically like each his own like everyone has their own unique style or like everyone has their own taste right when it comes to an image right and this is really cool because it's like our understanding like oh, this is cool to me and this may be cool to someone else so this may be interesting this may be a beautiful image to someone else and this may be an okay image to someone else right but i'm just showing you to give you an understanding that way you, you can get exactly what like what i'm talking about so this is from version 5 too okay this one's version 5 too this one's this one's pretty clean a little shadow work up there like the shading and stuff like that that's pretty cool then come down check this one out that's a clean one too it's really nice all right now when i came over here i changed the settings to version 4 and you can see what version 4 did for us right and you can see if we look at them right and compare it to like this one right here 
it's still a nice image, but the version five, it looks more realistic, right? I'm using the same prompt too, the same prompt. All right, look at still, still good image. But when you compare the two, you can see that the other one has a little bit more detail. Pretty cool still, really cool. Yeah, so you can see the difference. You'd be the judge. I'm just showing you, you know, the difference between the golden poppies and, you know, upscaling, you know, each one so you can see exactly, you know, how they look. And this is, remember, this is version four and these are all version five, V5. And if you're testing this out and trying to, you know, get a better understanding of how it works, make sure that you change those settings. Cause that's important. Change the settings to version five and start testing it out, start messing with it and tell me what you think. I'm excited that it released and uh, still messing with it myself personally and just uh, seeing what cool stuff it can create for me, which is really, really awesome. One quick tip too, I want to share with you guys. So inside of chat GPT, you want to use this Chrome extension called a I P R M chat G P T basically prompts templates and it will help you use, you know, generate like there's this inside of here. There's this one little tool right here, the template mid journey prompt generator, which is really, really awesome. So for example, let's say the golden poppies, right? And you can see when I type in golden poppies, that's a keyword. I'm gonna hit the keyword. I'm gonna hit enter and it's going to generate, check these out, different prompts that we can use inside of mid journey. And if you're not using this, make sure that you're using it because it's a very, very powerful tool. You know, prompts, even researching certain prompts, like the way it's doing right now, one prompt can take you 15 minutes, okay? And it's literally generated four prompts within like 10 seconds, right? And you can just copy these inside of, you know, uh, Mid Journey inside the Discord server. And if you're unaware too, that's where Mid Journey server is inside of Discord. And you can use these prompts in there and it will create different ideas and you can do that for anything let's say if you wanted to like type in panda right you hit panda it will literally create a different prompt for you know a panda okay so just think of different ideas that you can use and this can create unlimited you know prompt ideas for you that which can return can help you grow your business or or use anything like this for your business and just think of ideas right so here's an awesome like i said this is an awesome tool it's a Chrome extension over here, A I P R M for Chat GPT, which is really, really awesome. You can see it has over 600,000 users. So if you're unaware of this, you need to check this out. I'll have that down below in the description. Thank you. And what can this do for your business, right? That's a question you should be asking yourself if you're trying to take your business and grow it to that next level. And this is moving very, very fast. So if you don't know what an AI image creator is, you can get lost. And basically what you're doing is typing in different prompts into the AI image creator, and then it's pushing the images back to you. So you're typing in a prompt to Mid Journey. And as you're typing in that prompt into Mid Journey, it's giving you images back to you. You have to learn how to talk to it in order for you to get what you want. And if you want to learn more about Mid Journey, AI, check out this video right here. Peace out.